Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a spring trends video. I you know spring and summer can be sort of interchanged, but I really tried to pick out the trends that are specific for spring. Also talk about potential things that I have on my wish list because I have been on a shopping kick. So I thought it'd be fun to hear your guys' opinion on some of these trends and some of the items as well. So I guess we can start off with tops. The first thing I have on my list here are ribbon style tops. The popularity of the Ghani top if you guys have seen those Ghani came out with a top that's more of like a flowy sort of peplum style in a sense there is a little bit of a flare at the bottom the key thing about the piece is that there are little ties in the front and I've been seeing a lot of people wear this and it comes in different colors and styles as well honestly the silhouette isn't something that I usually go towards but I have seen people style it and I really like it and because it's more of this free flowing and it's sort of longer in the sleeves or like quarter three-fourths sleeve quarter sleeve versions of this top so in that way i think it's more spring vibes because it could get hot during the summer especially in the really hot summer days so i feel like this top is really good for the spring and it really just plays with the ribbon trend that is seen everywhere but i think this is a bit more muted and has its own style in that it has this sort of peplum design to it it's very trendy i'd say really prevalent i've seen on instagram on pinterest and on tiktok People have been trying to find dupes for the Ghani top as well, but you can also pair this with different jeans and it's really easy to dress up and down, which I think is also a nice thing about this top. Next with tops, I've been seeing so much layering going on and I know I talked about this as well, but I feel like in the spring we're going to see a lot more layering with sweaters and tanks. So I've been seeing a lot of people wear just basic white tanks under their more v-neck or loungy sweaters and I think this is sort of new in a sense. We're more used to people wearing maybe a round neck sweater with the contrast round neck tee under but I've been seeing people really play with the, the silhouette I guess and like how it creates like this you know you can see the outline of your tank but also see a little bit of your skin with the lounging sort of bigger v-neck sweater so i think it's actually really cute and i've been looking for a v-neck sweater but i want one that's deep enough where i could wear the tank under and show like the tank but i feel like it's hard to find that right balance between being low enough but not too narrow and also like it has to be wide enough to show your shoulders but not too much so it's sort of harder than you might think but i think just the look and the juxtaposition of having the white tee or tank under the sweater is like a new take and i don't think it's been prevalent in the past i think it probably was just for practicality's sake but now people are wearing it in a more stylish way people are styling their clothes so that they could like do this trend yeah i really like this and i am looking for a sweater and with that i've also seen people wear the double tanks i think this was sort of popular last year as well but this year i've been seeing a lot more of it like tanks on top of each other that make it look like you're wearing two tanks or two tops layered upon each other or even sheer fitted tops with a tank top over it or under it and so you could see the contrast but it just looks like one piece i think this sort of style is definitely trending for the spring because it's something that you sort of have to wear in the spring again it might be too hot in the summer but i think it's really cute and it'll keep you warm but also have a sort of breathability people have also been wearing more collar tops under tanks it is a bit out of my comfort zone i'd say so i don't know if i would be partaking in this perhaps if it was a top that already had the two together and it looks like i'm wearing them separately i don't know i think i'd be a little lazy to get a tank and then wear another one on top of that but i do like the look of it so i'm not opposed yeah i think it's a cute way to just sort of layer and layer for the spring next going on to bottoms i think i've been seeing two pieces and it's the pin striped pants or shorts and i think this is sort of timeless in that you kind of just gravitate towards like linen pants and linen shorts and the warmer months but i've been seeing it way more this season i think this sort of is a shift away from the button down tops that we wore the past few years in the spring and summer the Durf avenue breezy top is it where it's a button up and it's like pinstripe or just different like lighter pastel colors and i think this season it's more focused on the pants especially like 
long linen pants I think is optimal to wear in the spring where of course again it could get a little chilly but it has the sort of flowy breezy factor to it and the pinstriped design is just so cute it sort of looks like pajama pants but if you style it well enough I think it looks really nice and it's primarily with pastel colors whether that's like lighter blue tones or pink or even white that's been also on my wish list I know Brandy sells a linen um, striped pants and I feel like I definitely could style it and wear it out but I don't know if I would actually wear it a lot so I've been really thinking about that and I've been seeing people also wear like the boxer shorts with sweaters I think that's really cute too in terms of wearing just like a longer cozy sweater on top and this more comfy loungy boxer shorts on the bottom I think the look is just so cute but again will I even wear this like day to day but I don't know honestly people wear pajama pants just like just to wear pajama pants but I don't know I think in terms of also my style I don't know if I can commit to buying pinstriped boxer pants shorts. I was thinking if I were to actually try to style this trend I would lean more into solid color like linen pants or solid colored shorts. It'll be more my comfort zone to style and nevertheless I really do like this trend and I'm really tempted to buy the pinstripe like blue ones. I'll see and let you guys know. Okay next this one I haven't seen a lot of people talk about but I've been seeing it everywhere especially on TikTok for some reason and it is the barrel jeans. This is like very out of my comfort zone and I don't think I'd partake in this just because I think jeans, I know I mentioned this so many times but you have to buy jeans that you like and everyone's body is different so I feel like jeans especially it's hard to just follow a jean trend if you don't think it flatters you or if you don't really like it so the silhouette of a barrel jean I just can't get myself to like it. Yeah. I'm like trying to find ways to justify it, but I just am not a huge fan. It's um, really sort of like out of the norm. Um, and it's more of this like free flowing, very free people-esque style. It's definitely spring vibes because again, it's like jeans, but it has this sort of wider leg. It's um, a bit more flowy, but at the same time, it does have structure. So it's an interesting silhouette. I've seen a lot of girls on TikTok really pull this off well. For me, I don't think it fits my style, but please let me know what you think about this because I, I think it's really interesting and some it's a bit refreshing actually it's definitely something we haven't really seen before so yeah moving on to sort of the star of the show which are shoes I saw so many more shoe trends while I was researching I guess we can start off with like the major trend that I saw in terms of shoes which has been like very prevalent but I think especially because it's getting warmer people are bringing out the colors and for shoes I think it's gonna be so many colors I've been seeing it already especially with the Sambas of course the Wales Bonner ones but also just different collabs that they've been coming out with because of the popularity of the shoe and also different silhouettes not just Sambas I also know of the Adidas SL what is it called like the bowling looking shoe um, or like the Nike Cortez sneakers this sort of more slim fitted sneaker style plus colors is going to be like everywhere this spring. I also have mentioned the Onitsuka Tiger shoes, um, the yellow ones, the Kill Bill ones. I think that one is like super trendy but I have been wanting to buy their sneakers but in a different colorway. I've been eyeing this pastel blue and pink one and I want to get it because it's different from like the Sambas but it has like a similar silhouette because I already have the Nike Cortezes so I don't want to have to buy another one of like a different colorway so I was really contemplating buying the Onitsuka Tigers but I think it's a really cute way to add color to your outfit both guys and girls I don't think this is like gender specific and I think the main thing about these shoes is that not only are they very slim fitting and narrow they also have like the toe the toe box has this little thing if you guys know what I'm talking about the little silhouette all of them have it it's similar to the German army trainers replicas have it Adidas Sambas have it specials have it gazelles have it 
the Onitsuka Tigers have it. They all have like a similar toe box area. So I think that's major in terms of what is really propelling this silhouette. But another thing I've noticed is that if you look closely, the toe box area is made out of a suede material. And I think this also ties into this trend of like suede. Um, Miu Miu came out with a collab with New Balance where they came out with like a suede shoe, but it is a similar narrow silhouette. This shoe, when I saw it, I was like really sad because I really want it but it's like a thousand bucks so I don't know if I commit to that but it incorporates this sort of like suede texture to their shoes that is really interesting because I feel as though suede is seen more so in the fall but I feel like this year we're seeing a lot more of it incorporated into even these warmer months especially like I mentioned the shoes because they all have a bit of suede to it so we're sort of incorporating these sort of warmer textures into the warmer months suede not only in shoes but in jackets or these sort of, sort of larger tote bags and of course we're used to seeing the Birkenstock Bostons which are of the suede material and I've been seeing a lot more of colored Birkenstock clogs. It's really interesting to see how people are incorporating suede into spring but if you really think about it we've been sort of getting used to it. I feel like it's a natural progression to see suede in our accessories and thus a bit in our clothing as well. I've really been loving this sort of suede jacket to wear in chillier days in spring and I do think it's more of a timeless piece that you can wear in like these transitional periods. And last but not least, and this is also another pair of shoes, and they're just loafers. I know that loafers are a bit timeless, but I feel like I've seen so many people wear loafers and I just, I love it. I love the loafer look. I guess it's sort of similar to like the ballet flat. Again, similar silhouette of like this more slim fitting shoe, but this time your foot is like covered more. I actually purchased a pair of loafers and they're like studded. So I thought that was really cute and incorporating just like different sort of subtle designs with these classic loafers. I've been seeing a lot of different takes of the classic loafer, whether it's studded or different colors, or different fabrics. I mean, I also saw some people talking about how like the Sperry's are coming back. And I guess this does merge this sort of suede or like a leather and loafer which like ultimately is just like a boat shoe. So I can see that coming into style, but for now I feel like people are focusing more on just the regular loafers, whether that's in different colors or textures. So yeah, I'm excited for this trend and I really am loving the trends this year. I really think it fits into like my personal style. I feel as though this year it's focused more so on our accessories and different textures. I know I've probably missed a whole bunch, so please mention some that you have been seeing and you've been liking. And I will talk to you in my next video.